everybody, it's Jules here. I went to Sephora and wanted to show you what I got. Um, it was a VIB 15% uh, off event and I always take advantage of that. I think it's a great time to pick up those repeat items that you need. Uh, so yeah, I'll just get started. Uh, one of the repeat items that I did get and I always get is my Bare Minerals Foundation. I'm a fairly light N10 and I use this almost every day. It's a staple for me so why not pick it up when it's going to be on sale. Next, I repurchased uh, my Benefit Boing Concealer. I'm number 01. Uh, I love it. It's my favorite concealer. And I have hit pan um, on my old one, so I thought I'd get a replacement. Although I did hit pan a long time ago, and I was delightfully um, surprised to see that it still lasted me a long time. Um, I guess the outer rim is just um, a place that isn't touched as much. I don't know how much longer this will last me, but I have a backup now if I needed it. Uh, next I picked up um, a new Tarte Amazonian blush because I do love it and I have been wanting a new one. Um, the first one I have is in Tipsy, a really bright coral color. This is in Exposed, just a beautiful um, rose, a dusty rose pink. I have scratches all over me. If you watch my March favorites then you know why. But um, it's just a really natural blushing color. Um, it's similar, it kind of reminds me of the Dandelion, although Dandelion is just a bit more pink. This is just a bit more plummy, um, but they're both really natural, um, nice glowy blushes. I'm actually wearing it right now, you probably can't tell. And then lastly, I picked up um, this brush, it was on the sale rack. It was $7 for whatever reason, and I thought, why not? So it's the um, Sephora... They called it itself like the Extreme Eye or something like that. Um, it's the dual-ended brush. One side is for eyeliner, and then this other side is just a crease brush. Um, the crease brush is not like the best quality. Compared to my MAC crease brush, the 217, um, you can tell like the quality isn't as good. Do doesn't compare to MAC's. Um, you can tell it's already like a little frayed out. But I, I needed another crease brush anyway because, you know, when you're, you know, doing different looks and you didn't wash your brush right away and you need to switch color over, um, I thought it would be a good chance to get a cheap new brush. The eyeliner brush is a brush that gets dirty really quickly and you can't reuse it once you've used it once. So this is my MAC one. It's the Special Edition 212. Um, very comparable. And so I thought that was a good one, a good repeat brush to have when one is dirty. So $7, I thought you couldn't beat it, even if it's not... If it's not the best quality, I do have um, the originals in MAC, so. And then, because I did go on the Thursday, I guess the first day of the sale, I got the umbrella, which is still in the trunk of my husband's car. It's, I don't know, I feel like I shouldn't have accepted it, because I don't know if I'm ever going to use it, but whatever, I have the Sephora umbrella now. Lastly, just, just going through my little goodies quickly. Um, it was a pretty good one, so I was happy with that. We have the Sephora Full Action Extreme Effect Mascara in the little package here. Um, I really like Sephora mascara, so I am excited to try that, but I'm not going to open it yet. Um, we have a sample of uh, Viva La Juicy um, perfume, Bubble, Bumble and Bumble Thickening uh, Shampoo and Conditioner. Really good to bring these kind of things when you're going to a hotel just for one night. And then we have the Givenchy Mr. Light Instant Light Corrective Pen. This is something I probably would never repurchase because it's probably like $80, but it would be fun to try and then wish longingly if I end up loving it. Um, and then I have the Sephora um, Perfecting Ultra Smoothing Primer. And that's a decent little size too. Um, it's 8 milliliters, um, 0.27 fluid ounces, so that'll be a good try. So that completes my Sephora haul. Spent more than I wanted to, but isn't that how it always is when you go into the store? Um, but at least I did get that 15% off. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time.